All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joe Exotic, and I reside at a zoo called the Gerald Wayne Interactive Zoological Park in Winniewood, Oklahoma. For those of you who support and give your hard-earned money to Carol Baskin at Big Cat Rescue down there in Tampa, Florida, I would like to just let you in on a little bit of stuff of just how greedy, ruthless, and evil this woman can really be. Back in 2011, she sued me for copyright infringement on a picture she didn't even own and have copyrighted until three months after I used it. Went through a couple hundred thousand dollars fighting it until I ran out of money and the woman got a judgment against me for copyright infringement and trademark infringement. Since then, she has spent half a million dollars trying to collect money that I don't have. So what does the woman do? She turns around and sues most of the staff at the zoo for my debt. I would like you, Carol, to just release everybody that has really nothing to do with this suit between me and you. I don't need a lawyer to tell your sponsors and the people who give you money just how ruthless you really are. She is continuing to sue one of the zoo's old secretaries who is currently fighting breast cancer. She is currently suing the park manager who doesn't have any legs. She is suing my 81-year-old mom that has worked her entire life that has dementia. And she's suing two of the other employees that were volunteers here that currently live in Kansas for the exact same thing. Along with, she's suing my ex, John, who has worked his entire life and only owns one pickup in his own name. Just recently had a baby and he's struggling just to make ends meet to take care of his family. That's just the bottom line of how ruthless Carol Baskin and Howard Baskin at Big Cat Rescue can be. It takes a whole lot of guts to sue people with cancer. It takes a whole lot of guts to sue people with no legs. And it takes even more guts to sue an 81-year-old lady that is just trying to make it the last couple years of her life taking care of her husband with Alzheimer's while she has dementia herself. So, hats off to all of you people who are digging deep in your pocket to help Carol pick on sick and old people because the money's not going to the animals. It's going to a very ruthless law firm in Oklahoma City that is doing nothing but cashing those checks from Big Cat Rescue to keep that penthouse apartment on the top floor in Oklahoma City. If any of them had any morals or ethics, they'd be telling Carol, you're really suing these people for no reason at all because they had nothing to do with nothing. This argument's between me and you, Carol. You can come after me all you want, but I'd say it's time to let the sick people, let the old people, leave them alone. Let them enjoy the rest of their lives of what lives they have left. Stay down in Tampa and you can do anything you damn want. But it'll be a cold day in hell before you completely stop me. But these other people didn't deserve shit. So I'm publicly asking you, but most of all, I'm asking the sponsors and the supporters of Big Cat Rescue, are you gonna keep funding her bullying and her stalking? and are wanting to be in control of other people's lives so damn bad that you're willing to give up your hard-earned money to continue to let her do that? Let her and me sort this out. And let's get everybody else out of the way. But in the meantime, quit giving her money because that's all she's doing with it, is bullying people. I'm Joe Exotic. Thanks for listening to my video message.